नाइट राकेश सिन्हा राज्यसभा मेंबर ऑफ पार्लियामेंट तुषार गुप्ता कंटिन्यूज टू बी विद तहसीन पूनावाला पोलिटिकल एनालिस्ट बट माई फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन गोज टू सस्पेंडेड कांग्रेस लीडर डॉक्टर संजय झा एंड डॉक्टर संजय झा I understand there is great politics that's going on between the Congress and the BJP, and that's really the job of political parties to sort out and do. But can you actually hold a plane load full of people to ransom because you have a political fight going on with the BJP, Dr. Sanjay Jha, and and pa Mr. Pawan Khera apologizes in court and says he was genuinely confused. Yeah, really. I mean, you saw that statement on television. You saw his body language. You saw his pauses. You saw his smiles, and the whole country did. Confused, really? Uh, Navika, I think you have raised uh, two very valid questions, and they need to be responded to. Point number one: I will be very honest with you. I think the public discourse in our country between the parties, particularly between the BJP and the Congress, has touched an abysmal low. I also want to point out that I do hold that the leadership of the current government is significantly responsible for the pathetic standards of our political conversations. I don't want to go, you know, once again repeating the laundry list of statements made by Prime Minister Mr. Narendra Modi when he attacked Sonia Gandhi ji by calling her a New Jersey cow. He called Rahul Gandhi a hybrid cow. He referred to. Dr. Sashi Tharoor's wife as a 50 crore girlfriend. A country becomes like its leader. Unfortunately, I do not endorse what Pawan said. Let me put that on record. I know that Pawan has offered an unconditional apology. I also would like to put it on record that I don't think it was uh, it was something that happened as a slip of the tongue. It appeared to be, in my opinion, a deliberate statement. And I don't think these. paint us at all in a good light now let me answer your question on what happened in the aircraft you know you know navika as citizens of the country you are a news news reader very popular news reader i also happen to be a civil society person all of us should be worried when any political party sends policemen from another state to deeply in a person as he is boarding an aircraft and that is what triggered this entire tamasha that you're seeing on your screen the congress must have been appalled and aghast at the sudden police action and i think in a great number of ways they were doing what political parties do is to demonstrate i do hope however that the flight was not you know delayed to an extent that it inconvenienced the passengers that i totally agree with you on that point as well what should worry us all is the way democracy is being throttled because there is political vendetta coming into the game i also want to point out that the fundamental issue that the bjp will have to respond is on the relationship between mr gautam adani and the prime minister mr narendra modi today the lic investment has gone negative the the market capitalization of the adani group is down by 125 us dollar in billions and he's overnight in a few weeks become the 27th no, no. richest man so that gives you so that gives issues. the congress party the no, right doesn't. to sit no, on the tarmac to hold up planes to call uh, to call to call narendra modi as narendra not damodar das modi but narendra gautam das modi it all it all it is all allowed I, because I the congress it. is asking questions and therefore because because police action is being taken so it is death of democracy and death of freedom of speech rakesh